welcome to the Isle of Man. We have just landed, we just picked up our little hire car and we are driving out of Ronald's Way Airport up to Snaefell, which is the highest point. We're gonna hike that this morning. We are here for a few days. My sister's getting married on Wednesday and yeah, we're gonna take the opportunity to explore the island a little bit around the wedding and before bridesmaids duties commence. We're gonna do a hike this morning. It is sunny at the moment, uh, but the rain is coming in. So we're gonna try and do as much of the hike as we can before the cloud rolls in. Really excited to explore the island. It's not, I've, my sister's been here for a few years now and I've never actually visited, which is not very good. <laughs> really excited to be here. Really excited to see what we get up to. Just back down from Scarfell, Scarfell, Snaefell, and the heavens have opened. So we literally got to the trig point, and yeah, it started to rain. So we just literally bombed it straight back down. But yeah, it was really nice up there. Actually, we did the easy route. We've not hiked up from Douglas. We've not hiked up from sea level. We have parked at the Mountain Railway Station, which is the bungalow station. So they have like a little railway. It's a bit like Snowdon, where you can get the train all the way up, which is quite cute, I suppose. And there's a little cafe at the top and yeah we just parked at the bungalow and just walked up it only took us what like half an hour yeah, 40 minute. minutes oh, i think it's a bit longer than 20 minutes but yeah like maybe that like half an hour give or take there it's really you know not too strenuous at all bit and <laughs> a bit boring apparently but it was easy we got up there we knew the rain was coming in so we wanted to get up there before we got drenched So we've been to Peel and we walked around Peel Castle. There's like a path all the way around the outside, which was really nice. We used the binoculars and we we're trying to spot uh, birds. We saw black guillemots, black black gulls, eider ducks, seals, huge jellyfish, like massive. And yeah, loads of other little birds and cormorants as well, which I do really like cormorants. And then the sun came out, which is glorious. So yeah, it was really, really nice. There was this little um, cove next to the castle, which was stunning water. Swallows. Yeah. It's summer. <laughs> we just stopped off at Nyabil Beach. Nyabil. Not quite sure how you say it. <laughs> Beautiful, actually. That the, the scenery over here. I feel like we could be in Scotland. It's stunning. <laughs>
car. It's quite windy out, hence why I'm only talking to you in the, in the car. But we have just come, come from the Calf of Man, which is a little island right off the south tip, southern tip. We were hoping to see puffins. No luck. We're literally so close to their season of being there. They only came back to the Isle of Man, Calf of Man, um, 2021. So it's still really a, a small new colony that there. But yeah, we're about two weeks out maybe, but it's really, really annoying because there's loads of little holes that we thought we could see them, um, well, where they will be, but they weren't there. But it's a really, really beautiful area. Heading to Fairy Bridge, which is a bridge apparently where you have to say hello to the fairies. Apparently people like write letters and notes and tie it to trees. Obviously not gonna do that. And then we're gonna head into Douglas and check in. Our parents arrive on the ferry soon. We'll probably see my sister as well. So yeah, we sort of an evening with them. It's been a jam packed day, isn't it? It's been really, really fun. You'll probably see me again maybe tonight, and if not, we'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> Good morning! So we're staying in the Sefton Hotel just there. And it is a beautiful morning. It's definitely the calm before the storm because this afternoon the winds are getting up. They're having to move the boat journeys around. We've got family coming over on the boats and having to come earlier on the boats because it's just going to be so choppy later on. So yeah, we're enjoying the sunshine before it all drastically changes. But it's so beautiful. We're just making our way down Dune Glen. It is one of the most famous glens in the Isle of Man. Follow the glen all the way down to the beach, basically. Mm -hmm. As you can see, I'm back home now. I got back from the Isle of Man probably a few weeks ago. Well, it is a few weeks ago now. So I've been very, very busy and therefore not had a chance to close this video. So apologies that I'm only just doing it now. The wedding was a beautiful day. As you can imagine, it was really, really busy. And then the day after was just a very relaxed day because it was such a whirlwind of a day on the Wednesday. As you saw already, I, we crammed quite a lot in to sort of a day and a half. Waterfalls, the coastline, the beautiful sea color, uh, mountains. They really have got it really has got a bit of everything on the thursday so the day after the wedding we did just explore douglas which is the capital that's just a standard seaside town it was quite pleasant and we went to a really nice vegan cafe called vibe right next to the harbor front so that was really nice um i'd love to go back there again actually we'd given in the um hire car by that point so we gave that in the day before so it doesn't take long to get around it around the island if you have a car as well. It's literally about half an hour, 45 minutes from one end of the island to the other. So it's really, really small and easy to get around. There's definitely more to the island than just the TT races, which is what it's known for, what it's famous for. Yeah, definitely recommend it. I hope I've inspired you to add it to your travel list. And yeah, thank you for watching and hopefully catch you soon.